Before the video starts, today's shout out winner goes to Zombie. If you guys want a chance to win a shout out in the next video, drop a like and a comment down below, subscribe with notifications on, and I will pick somebody randomly that will be shouted out in my next video. I hope you guys enjoy. Yo, what's going on guys, Satsuki here. Our first story is pretty cool guys. This one's coming from FaZe Mew. Now Mew is actually making a brand new Fortnite team. He tweeted out saying, coming soon at Bunny Hop. He then tweeted out saying, starting a new Fortnite team with Parallel Licks. It's called Bunny Hop. I'm not leaving FaZe, but I see this as an opportunity to keep pushing myself as a player, doing this all for fun, just putting out content and having a tight group of friends going for nutty b-hop clips. Then the official bunny hop twitter tweeted out their first tweet and they said, b-hop is going to be led by FaZe Mew and Parallel Licks. We are currently looking for players, designers, editors, streamers, and content creators. To all players, we are looking for b-hop clips, trick shots, squad wipes, and creative hopping. Reply with your work if you are interested. And both these tweets did numbers. A lot of people are happy for the launch of this team because that means there's another team in the community to grind for. The b -hop Twitter then tweeted out saying, DMs are now open for any questions about the team. If you want to link your work as well, feel free to message. If any players are looking to join, reply with your best Fortnite B Hop related clip. If there is not a bunny hop within the clip, it will be disregarded. So yeah guys, if you guys don't know what a B Hop clip is, I'll play a bit of Steve's X20's video of him B Hopping to show you guys what it is. So yeah, those clips are pretty unique, different, and you know, cool to watch. Also, if you guys are interested in joining B-Hop, they're actually going to be hosting a RC soon. They tweeted out saying, Since we have received over 500 messages about the team and you guys are really interested in joining B-Hop, we are just gonna mess around and host a recruitment challenge. So yeah, guys, they only want B-Hop clips like they said before. Also, if you're wondering why FaZe Mew made this team, it was actually inspired by a guy named SteezeX20. FaZe Mew tweeted out saying, for those interested in joining my new team Bunny Hop, this team was inspired by Steez X20. He's absolutely insane and he does really original slash unique kills. If you guys want to join, be inspired off this video. Start going for B Hop shots. So yeah, we'll see what kind of unique content B Hop can put out. Also, be sure to subscribe with notifications on and I'll keep you guys updated on when B Hop uploads their RC video. The next story is a follow up from my last video. Now, I'm not going to explain everything in detail and how this story started, but long story short, Vital Derek ended up getting the aggro Twitter suspended after some twitter beef then aggro ended up making a new twitter called at aggro vi now if you guys remember in my last video aggro abstract who was the founder and overall leader of aggro he tweeted out saying the second i dropped new era i got an email from twitter support saying they now want to help me resolve my issue what a miracle and today guys aggro actually ended up getting their original twitter back the official aggro twitter tweeted out saying official aggro or aggro vi question mark what page should we call home they then tweeted out saying this is home we will continue the aggro journey here hashtag aggro on top so yeah guys this is a really good thing that aggro got their original twitter back because this twitter has over 16k followers and you know that's a really big following you know and the at aggro vi twitter quoted the tweet and said for all our new followers and originals we've decided to move back home on our original page so if you want to continue to support us follow and keep up the date with our other page so yeah guys be sure to follow at official aggro if you want aggro is an amazing team and i see them going very far our next story is crazy guys now a pro player who goes by the name exceed he actually got exposed for cheating during the World Cup qualifiers. Now, the person who actually exposed Xeef, he goes by the name RBK High Sky. And during the World Cup qualifiers, RBK High Sky uploaded a video on Twitter exposing Xeef. And in the video, it basically shows how Xeef was caught cheating with the help of teammates. And I'll play that video for you guys right now. Alright, ready, dude? Alright, boys. Here we are in the last game, World Cup finals. You have Ziff. Landing at his drop spot. You know. You know, just last game. Just, 
you know, hey, yo, guys, guys, yo, land on me real quick. I need a couple points, boys. Bad and Muji, one of Ziff's friends, you know, dude, Jesty, who can, who could probably land fucking Polar Peak right now. You know, he's just chilling up here. Ziff lands on this pump. Just, oh my god, man. Ziff lands on this pump. Go to gameplay real quick. Runs around. Luigi lands. What is Luigi doing? He sees him land on the pump. Starts pickaxing this. Doesn't grab the pump. Pickaxes the chest. Like a complete ass. And dies. 31 points, by the way. 31 points. He's he's a lost cause. Zips in the running. Let's not forget. Let me just, just go back real quick. Fuck. Let me go back real quick. Two. And after Epic Games do their research, Axif loses his World Cup spot and all the money that came with it, and also everybody who else was involved in this got a two week ban. And along with all of that, Axif and Ronaldo got kicked from Rise Nation for cheating. The official Rise Nation Twitter posted a statement on Twitter and they said, Due to the recent allegations being confirmed by Epic Games, we'll be releasing Axif and Ronaldo from our Rise Fortnite roster. We don't tolerate cheating within our esports organization and hope our fans continue to support us. Hashtag we rise. Also, a lot of people are not happy that they only got a 14 day ban. Dakota tweeted out saying, so you can cheat for millions and only get a 14 day ban. Nice one, at Fortnite game. Whose parent is that at Epic Games? Face Jao Mok tweeted out saying, 14 day ban kind of like for almost scamming at least 50k. Sword Dime said on Twitter, I'm so happy. Epic addressed a cheating situation for worlds but a 14 day ban for cheating in a tournament with millions? At Rise Exif and all the people who truly cheated shouldn't even get a chance to compete anymore in my opinion. Face Vorwin tweeted saying, Exif cheating in a hundred million dollar tournament gets a 14 day ban. Martos changes to NA to look to leaderboards. Q's later in a game by mistake. Leaves the instant 14 days ban. Ah, uh, here we go again with the Fortnite esports. And I'll share one more with you guys. Face Martos tweeted out saying, Good that Axeev got banned for 14 days and disqualified. Feel like he should be banned for the rest of the World Cup, but that's just me, I guess. What if someone decides to do the same in the last week? He will risk getting a 14 day ban, but it doesn't matter because there's nothing in these 14 days. So, damn, guys, a lot of people are not happy that it's only a 14 day ban. But drop a comment down below and what you think, Axeev and everybody else involved in the situation's punishment should be. Our next story is coming from BH. Now, they're actually hosting a 50,000 subscriber recruitment challenge. They tweeted out saying, 50k RC video live on our channel. Make sure to watch in full for all details. And this RC ends on May 31st. So you guys have like 30 days to go for this RC, you know. So I would highly recommend you guys grinding this out, you know. And speaking of recruitment challenges, Obey is also hosting a recruitment challenge soon. They tweeted out saying, the official Obey recruitment challenge will begin in a few weeks. So damn guys, there's quite a few RCs going on at the moment. There's the BH50k RC going on right now. Hop is hosting an RC soon and so is Obey. So you know, if you think you're underrated and you deserve more recognition, this should definitely keep you guys busy for the next few weeks. Our next story is coming from Rexo. Now, if you guys don't know who Rexo is, he's a YouTuber of over 170k subscribers and he uploads Fortnite montages. And he actually ended up leaving Soar. He tweeted out saying, I have decided to leave Soar Gaming. I'll always appreciate my time in Soar. It has been an amazing 8 years or so. I got nothing but love for them. Best of luck of everything going forward. So damn guys, he's been in tour for quite a while. So I think Rexo got an offer from a bigger organization because you know, I don't think Rexo will just leave Sora like that, you know, after being in it for so long. So drop a comment down below on what team you think Rexo has joined. The next story is coming from FaZe. The official FaZe Clan Twitter tweeted out saying, who else deserves a spot with FaZe Fortnite during our World Cup journey? Tag somebody below and include something about them we should know. We'll be looking. So we expect a new FaZe recruit within the next few weeks, I would say. So drop a comment down below on who else you want to see join FaZe. That would be a good fit for the FaZe World Cup journey. And also subscribe with notifications on to be kept updated on who joins FaZe. Our next story is pretty insane, guys. Skeptic actually ended up getting his Twitter banned, or should I say locked. He tweeted out saying, Sup guys, so Twitter banned me for no reason because I was 12 and 9 months when I made my account. So can we like all spam hashtag free skeptic on Twitter and like and retweet anyone who does hashtag free skeptic because this sucks. So hopefully skeptic can get his Twitter back because you know if you're a YouTuber of over 1 million subscribers, Twitter is literally your second most used social media. So if you guys want, drop a comment down below saying hashtag free skeptic. Our next story is coming from Parallel. Now today is actually their 1 year anniversary and you know Parallel has achieved so much in just 1 year. They have almost 200k subscribers on YouTube and like I said in my past videos, this is just the beginning for all these Fortnite teams. They're just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger, you know. So let's see what the future holds for Parallel and what other milestones they can keep breaking. Our last story is coming from Pavade. Now, they actually ended up announcing their third sponsorship. They tweeted out saying, A partnership announcement, Evade and Gamersups. Welcome to the family. Be sure to use your favorite Evade member's code for 10% off your purchase. Hashtag Evade us. They also posted a video alongside this announcement and I'll play that for you guys right now.
mother with that mouth? It's called you kiss. It's called you kiss your mother with that fucking mouth. <laughs> So if it is now sponsored by GamerSup, Scuff Gaming, and Meta Threads. So drop a comment down below on what other company you want to see a raid get sponsored by. But that's all the news for today guys. If you guys happen to enjoy the video, drop a like and a comment. And if you want to be kept updated with everything that happens, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Okay, peace.